Hey everybody, it's Stone here and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we did a lot of World 4, including Honey Hop Galaxy, the Chompworks Galaxy, and a couple comets elsewhere. This time, we're gonna feed this hungry Luma and see what we've been, uh, see what we've been, <clears throat> excuse me, missing out on the entire time, uh, by not having enough star bits. Looks like you found a hungry Luma, hope you got a snack, snack some star bits, yada yada yada, I don't care. You got any tasty star bits? I sure do. 1,200 of them. This is a big Luma. Not the biggest one. It's a big Luma. I actually don't remember which galaxy it um, transforms into, which of course I'll probably automatically recognize, but... Let's see which one this is. <gasps> oh! Yep. Okay. This is a Yoshi galaxy, of course. The sweet mystery galaxy, as indicated by the fruit. The bull, what was that, the bulberry, I think? Bulberry's mysterious glow, yep. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna try to hurry up and finish World 4 uh, in its entirety in this episode, so I'm gonna try to be really, you know, careful about, <laughs> you know, hurrying up and finishing that kind of, not really goofing around in levels. Gonna get plenty of star bits, uh, in return for unlocking this level. This level is actually really cool. So we're gonna need the bulb berry to light the way, unveil the path. The path will reveal itself to you when you are ready and you are not ready, I promise, until you eat the bulb berry. I do not know where the comet metal is and of course that bothers me always. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you're standing on firm ground and uh, the bulberry runs out of time. I do think you just fall. I don't think it's like still there or anything. That'd be an interesting thing to find out, but I, like I said, I'm trying to be trying to be efficient with time, so I don't, I don't really want to mess around with that. You guys can test it for yourself if you want to you want to be little scientists. It's kind. It's also really cool how like it shines through the wrappers of the candy, so you see, uh... So you see, like, what is in the package. You see the actual candy itself. Moving to this level pretty quickly, I do say. Plenty of bulb berries to keep getting refilled on the way there. Plenty of these guys to get on your nerves, too. Uh, just like that. That's my favorite one. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't even realize I was running straight into it until it was too late. Uh, we're actually at the halfway point, so let's go ahead and find out what happens if you're standing on firm ground but need the bulb berry to see it. Let's, let's just find out real quick, since I already died once. I think you just fall. I think that is the case. Even though you know that there's ground here. Yep, you need the ball berry to see it. That sucks. Oh well. This would be a speedrunner's like nightmare if it if it uh, didn't have to have the ball berry. Like if you could if you knew where the ground was, then you can go ahead and be there anyway. That would be interesting to watch speedrunner do. Where am I trying to go? Where's my destination here? I don't really know, honestly. Flipping all these switches. Oh, there's one in the middle, okay. Place to walk in the middle. What is this? Is this a boss battle? No, okay. I was gonna say, I wouldn't think there'd be a boss battle on a level like this, but you never know. I don't know about them. Might just have to trick you up. And I wish we got Golden Yoshi, but we get regular Yoshi. He transforms back as soon as you get the star. Regular Yoshi's okay too, but it'd be kind of cool if Golden Yoshi could be in the cutscene. Okay, I think that's the only star in that galaxy. Uh, there's a Comet Metal, but that's not going to appear for a while. 26 of those, 219 star bits. And that just opens up the path from there to there. It's completely useless. <laughs> but I guess that means you can skip... Huh. That is interesting, because that means you can skip this galaxy completely. 
Interesting. Hmm. Never thought about doing that. Next up is the Starshine Beach Galaxy. Oh my goodness, I don't like this galaxy. I really don't. Surf Sand and Silver Stars, this is one of the galaxies that I don't like because it doesn't make any sense. It's just like, it's almost like a filler. And it's very Super Mario Sunshine based, obviously. But, like, I don't really... It just seems that like the gameplay is very uninspired. In my opinion, I don't think it's that fun at all. But who knows? Maybe this maybe this playthrough will change my mind. Maybe I'll actually enjoy it this time. It's a stretch. There are uh, what are they called? P pina not pinatas. Um, what are those things called? The people from Delfino Island or Isle Delfino. Whatever, man. Let's get Lakitu off his cloud because you can do that. Hey, this is for all the other 2D Mario games. There actually is a cool thing here uh, on this little diving platform right here. I don't think I've mentioned this, but on certain, I don't know if it's just this one or if it's like a bunch of them. But I think if you stand on the very edge of it, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. I could have swore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you jump off the very edge of it like that, he does a dive. That's pretty cool. I always like that. And that was part of like a cool Mario Galaxy tricks and tips or whatever video from a long time ago that I watched like when I was a kid. What's up here? Oh, we're getting silver stars, aren't we? Jesus. You have to eat one of these and throw it at it? or You have to get something and throw Oh, one of the spinies, of course. Okay. Let's grab one down here. Gotta be careful because I can come back to life inside your mouth, and that's not very good for Yoshi. I think you get a little warning though. That did not sound like glass breaking. What was that? That sound effect didn't fit. Uh, is this a Chuckster? What? I'm trying. What are these things called? I'm trying to remember. Pianta, Piantas. I, I was thinking Pinata. I was like, that's not right. Pianta. Like Pianta Village. Yeah, okay. I need to play Mario Sunshine. I've played it, but I don't like a lot of the levels. They really bother me. So I gave up on it, and now I just, I just don't want to play it. But I should, because it's like one of the best Mario games ever, apparently. There's a red hot dash pepper to run on water here. We're gonna I'm gonna just kinda screw around this little planet so I can. Okay, the gimmick here to get this silver star is you stand on one side of this bobber looking thing to get it to roll over. It's actually pretty cool, I think. And you have to get it balanced. Right. Oh come on. Come on, dude, I want you to do. Physics are a little bit choppy. This is one of the lesser polished, one of the lesser polished objects in the game. Um, where's the last one? It's up there. Okay, I'm gonna get off Yoshi for a second. Come on, jump out of the water, retard. God, I hate the swimming in every video game. Good lord, it's so. Wait, can you swim underwater with Yoshi? No, you can't. Okay, exactly as I thought. Go away. Drown, Yoshi. I want to go get my Comet Medal, which I think is down here. Between two giant eels, just how I like them. You can't do anything while you're swimming. The swimming physics are so bad in every game ever made. Good God. Nothing bugs me more than swimming levels in video games. 
an easy coin. Okay, let's just start it. Uh, now I have a pad. Okay, you can get, get some right here. Is that how you're supposed to get up there? No, you have to break that open with the spiny. Don't touch that. Come here, you. I think there is a Chuckster somewhere here from uh, Sunshine, but I don't remember where. Not too concerned about it because I don't think you need to beat this level. Hey, sniper. Yoshi the Sniper, the Mushroom Kingdom Sniper. Can you make it? Yeah, you have to be able to. Just barely, though. Goodness gracious. Just enough. And it's gonna go all the way over there because fuck you. That's why. I'm gonna run at it a thousand miles an hour. Whoa there, Pogo. Grab that star. And get out of here. There's another there's another star here, isn't there? See, I really don't like that level. I don't know why, it just bothers me. It number one, it's a swimming level, and those are barely ever good, except for Beach Bolt Galaxy. That that level's beautiful. Uh, I think I'm thinking the right one. But, like, oh god, this one just bothers me a lot. I really don't like it. <laughs> Got a comment back at the Sweet Mystery Galaxy. Game's been saved. Let's, uh... Long jump, not backflip, to the helm. That Okay. That was useful. That did a lot. Go back to the Starshine Beach Galaxy to grab the second star there. <laughs> And hope to God that a comet doesn't show up between the time that I do this and the time that I get the comet star and the time that I get to the to the final level of the world. Climbing the cloudy tower. What's the gimmick here? Is it B Mario? I feel like it might just be B Mario. You can play as Luigi as this, but I'm not taking the time to switch to him. Trying to be efficient here. Can't be as efficient as possible. Is that the Chuckster? Yep. Get up here to the top of the tree. What does this give you? Star bits. Clean. What is the gimmick here? Let's find out. There's nothing up here. Starbits to go around for days. Oh, wait a minute. I know. You got these little leaf boats that have fans on the bottom of them. I guess they're fans. Where am I supposed to go, though? That's the question. Um, oh. I think this one's something really dumb and annoying, as per usual, these types of levels. I think you have to get up on top of that. Somehow, can you go down in there? Yep. Okay, well, we've come this far on the boat. Let's go down into this tunnel. I think this is the right way to be going. And, yep. Up to the top, pressing this button will enable all of the these things to come online. So you can shoot yourself across the map, and there's a cloud flower. Or a cloud mushroom. I don't know which one it would be. Can't touch the water. I'd be very careful getting over there. Did we abandon our other boat? Yep, it's still over there. <laughs> Just gotta try not to get hit by the water. Big water bubbles that are flying up and down now. Oh, I wasted one of those.
Oh, that wasn't that bad at all. What the frick? That's such a pointless level. It was like so short and weird. I don't I hate this galaxy. I really don't like it. it just it just doesn't have a good feel to it, man. It's just like obnoxious. It's just like it's there, just because. You know? One of those galaxies. Anyway, there aren't many of those either. 65 stars and another comet showed up. Had Bowser Jr.'s fearsome fleet. I think it's a daredevil comet. Oh, God. Pretty cool thingy there. Oh, yeah, you can turn into Cloud Mario on the ship. Uh, so if you want to screw around with that, sure. I think, personally, it was much more fun in Galaxy 1 to screw around with the power-ups on the observatory than it is to screw around with them on the ship in this game because, I don't know, this place is just kind of boring. Uh, let's go back and get the... Nah, let's go ahead and do the shitty Daredevil Comet first. Here it is. I gotta go all the way over here. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Thanks, World 3. Gotta go all the way back there, and we're gonna... God, please don't actually be a Daredevil Comet, I think it is, though. Yep. Mega Hammer's Daredevil Bash. The real question is, do I have to go all the way through the level, or do I just have to fight the boss? That's a big difference. Okay, it's just the boss. Thank God. I did not want to sit here all night and do this. And I can't skip the cutscene, even though I've seen it already. He says the same thing, even though we already beat him. And this time we don't get a grand star for it. We just get a regular star. See, that's kind of lazy. Honestly, if there, are, if there are many things... If there's anything wrong with this game, and there aren't many, and the first one, it's that it's kind of lazy with stuff like that. I'm being completely honest here. That was really close, honestly. So you gotta hit each one twice, right? I was, t I was spamming B at it, and it wouldn't let me eat it. What's the issue, my my Vishnu? God, it's a stolen joke. I'm spamming B, and it won't let me eat them. What is the... What is the problem? I'm not getting a game over here. I don't care. I'm not letting that happen. I'm gonna... God, why does it take so long to get them in Yoshi's mouth? Good lord. Come on. Okay, that should have counted right there, but, you know, whatever. See how quickly those went in? Like, why doesn't it do that every time? Why is it so glitched? It's like hold B down for a second. God, that's weird. I hate that. Okay, let's get over to a large star so we can do his backside. Oh, this is the fun part. Yep, okay. Multitasking at its finest. Does he turn around? I don't remember, honestly. Yep. Cool. Whoa. Bang. Is that it? No, there's more. There's gotta be more. Yeah, okay, you gotta jump over him now. Come here, buddy. Wait, I'm crazy. You don't have to jump over him. You have to wait for him to bend down toward you. I forgot about that.
That's so epic, man. I totally held down the fucking button again. I hate this this level too. Probably said it while I was fighting him, but man, I hate this level. This boss fight sucks. So fucking gimmicky. Okay, I got both of them there. Proof of concept. Proof of concept. Ooh, the second one, speed that matters. Yes, got him. Okay. Get the other side. I just want to beat World Four in this episode. Why doesn't the game want me to beat World Four in this episode? Come on, Bubby, turn around. Yep. Okay, good boy. Where are the sling stars? Thank you. I had to walk 400 miles to get to it. My God. And there it goes. Okay, well, I, at least I didn't know what to do now. Kinda, sorta. Okay, there's one. I'm still on solid footing here. Timing was a little off. Maybe I should hold it until after the lasers are completely gone and he's done moving. Let's kind of try that. Yep. Okay, clean. Finally! Got rid of that. Good gosh, get out of here. Whatever, blow up, die. Give me my star. He's like, power of a grand star, and then just a regular star. <laughs> Lazy, lazy, lazy. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Whatever, it's a great game. Just has some annoying parts to it. Gotta pop my knuckles some after that. My wrist is kinda hurting from playing this for so long. I haven't even been playing that long, really, but... You know. Having to sit in a very fixed position due to talking into a microphone. Galaxy complete! 400 star bits. Back up to, and we're gonna be able to go ahead and do the comet, the sweet mystery galaxy, and please don't let there be any comets pop up after this, because I really want to go fight the boss of this world, because it's kind of fun. I think bulberries, purple coin glow. I don't actually remember what the boss of this world is. I just know that the boss fights are more fun than regular levels usually. That's, eh, that, that's not consistently true. Actually, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I'm just excited to be moving on to World 5. Yes. We're getting near, we're getting near the end. And by the end, I mean, we're getting near the halfway point. Eh, that's not really true, but... Is there no speed? There's no sp timer thing here. What's the challenge? You just walk around and grab purple coins. There's literally no challenge here, I'm so confused. Actually, I'm really confused right now, what the fuck? My language has been a little bit dirtier in this episode, but I don't really care. It's almost 2 a.m., I have to get up in five hours, and... Yes, that's all my fault, but... You know. That was a little close right there. Some of these levels are super frustrating. Especially when you're getting to a point of like being able to close on a certain chapter of the game, like part of the game, and there's things preventing you from doing that. 63 out of 100. I guess it's hard because they're they would kind of blend in with the background if you weren't uh, if at just a glance they would, you know. And if the bulb berry runs out, then you know whatever. But no, this is not a, this is kind of relaxing actually. As long as I don't screw up and fall off. Which would be horrible and very embarrassing at this point. Grab that bulberry. Write these things. Oh god. That was almost bad. Go over here to this. 
this, and the 100th herb coin. Right there, and there's a stack of pancakes in the background while we get our star, and a donut, and an ice cream cone, and a pretzel, and some candy canes, and some other stuff, a lollipop. <laughs> I just named everything I saw floating across the back of the screen. I love that galaxy. It's just really comforting. The music's cool too. 67 stars, galaxy complete. And no comet. You know what that means. Okay, let me do a check real quick. Let me. Seems too good to be true. Done everything in World 4 that we can possibly do. Yep. Zoom out. Make sure we're not. Uh, make sure I'm not crazy. Oh crap, we are. We've completed these first two worlds. I didn't even realize that, and there's only one more thing to do here in World 3. Wow, we're almost done with World 4. Holy crap, alright, let's open up this pathway. Starship Mario can now advance. Need 40 stars, we are almost to 70. So we're way past the standard for this. Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet. Let's go. Breaking into Bowser's castle. Oh boy. Breaking Bowser. <laughs> well, there's the comet medal. Saw it. <laughs> right there. Yeah, this one actually is fun. If I remember correctly. This one's pretty cool. Love the music here. Word to Mario 64. That music will never get old. Like straight up. They could reuse that till 2030 in Mario games. Nobody would care because it's so good. It's so memorable too and like nostalgic. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're in the 2D plane now. Comet Metal is not really anything to worry about. It's kind of pretty much given to you. Uh, these fire balls are a little bit tricky. You're not careful. Not paying attention, which I'm not really paying attention to. I'm not really trying to not get hit by them, but I'm getting lucky. Getting a little bit lucky. And there's some water we gotta swim through with a cheap cheap in the way. Really randomly in the way. I didn't mean to run into it at all. Yeah, you can get hit by fire underwater. It still affects you. Plenty of coins to make up for it though. Get out of the water. There's the halfway point. We're almost there. Oh god. That came out of nowhere. Let's get rid of you. Just cause. But your buddy here, I don't really think is a bigger issue because he's, you know, out of the way a little bit. I love, okay, this, for whatever reason, I've always loved this. I just love when, like, big, open, bit, like, larger worlds uh, can kind of come down to smaller, like, individual pathways like this, like, enclosed. I don't know, I think it's cool to transition like that. Okay, this is where we gotta, yep. Dodge the fire while running across this. Wait, I feel like there's something over here. Oh, God, oops. Oh, there's a one up. Okay, nothing too great. Let's grab it though, just because we came over here for it. Okay. It's gonna land us right here. And what's in these? Coins, maybe star bits? This is Lumisay. I placed some meteors here, just ground pound to break open the door. Well, thank you, Luma. Good to know that you guys can control meteors, but you need my help defeating Bowser. That's really interesting. You know, the sad part about Galaxy 2 is that with the Bowser levels, the fight is never as fun as the level. Like, this level I think is pretty cool, but this, I mean, the fights are all the same, so it's like, whatever. Get tractor beamed into the 
portal, I guess. I guess it's a portal. What? It's you! Well, I'd expect as much from my arch nemesis. Your time is up, Mario. Now it's smushing time. And time for my huge fist to meet your puny face. Luma was looking a little bit scared there. He was looking a little bit spooked. Bowser's about to clap him. I can clap Luma. Chill. He said it's smushing time. I immediately thought of it's clobbering time from the Fantastic Four. Man, now I'm sad because I remember that Fox ran those characters into the ground. Those movies are horrible. Let Marvel have them back. Fox, let Marvel have all their characters back. Even the X. I don't care how good. Huge jacked man is done with the Wolverine shit. Whatever, X-Men First Class, Days of Future Past, whatever. I don't care, Apocalypse, eh, whatever. It's, this is whatever. Just give Marvel Studios the characters back so they can put them with the Avengers and make a really cool movie. Oh no, he's even angrier. What will I do? Oh, he's gonna breathe fire now. Oh shit. Oh shit. He breathes it for a long time too. I was about to jump straight. I did jump straight into it. I'm not kidding. What kind of ang Bowser? You didn't give me any angle there, buddy. It was kind of tricky. I'm not gonna lie. Ow, I, I got hurt trying to recover. That sucks. I almost jumped straight into it again. Okay, punch the planet. Right where I'm standing. R yeah, perfect. That's just great, actually. Bang. Dislocated his arm right there. On the spot. Who's next? Where's the next spot? Oh, God, Al. But it's burned me alive. I'm not even affected. What's up? I'm not even touched. Punch the planet right there. Thank you. How cool would it be to actually be on a planet like this size and be able to just run around it like that? What? How? Whatever. My master plan is too far along now, Mario. You can't stop me! ha <laughs> Great work there, pal. You did it. You found the fourth Grand Star. You fought that monster again. You look a bit more banged up than last time. He's getting stronger, eh? We need to stop that monster before he gets any more powerful. Alright then. Let's hit it. On the double, Captain. <laughs> 